I don't know what the relationship is between the intelligence services and these giant tech companies. They obviously mm. have to have a relationship. Now the question is, is there any agreement that we're going to bury certain kinds of news sources using the algorithms so that you can't actually um, understand how your world is presented? Is the algorithm open or is right. the algorithm effectively will tell you, don't call us, we'll call you? Right, and I'm pretty sure it's the latter in almost every case. I mean, is there anyone, any, do any of these big companies, as far as you know, have an open algorithm that, that publicly are telling us the, the changes as they make them? I think we're not there yet. And I think the idea is that this is a future battle, which is how much are we allowed to know about the algorithms that construct our world for mm -hmm. us? People say, well, Facebook took down my post about this. And usually I find it to be something that I'm for. You know, I see this a lot with ex-Muslim stuff or right. something like that where they take these posts down. Uh, you know, many people I've had on this show from Faisal and Melissa Chen and, uh, and others and Gad and a few others have had posts taken down that were doing the right thing, trying to help people, try to empower free speech, all of that stuff. But at the end of the day, Facebook is doing whatever it's doing and you're, you're, you're their bitch well, pretty much, right? <laughs> The question is, where are you going to go? So there's always a, you know, every year or so, there's a new Facebook competitor. Maybe there'll be a new Twitter competitor. So at the moment, none of these uh, alternate efforts have been successful um, in taking the eyeballs away because people are mostly not riveted by what you and I are riveted uh, by. Their, they want their world presented to them in a, in a pleasant fashion, and they're not terribly focused on mind control.